I cheated on my wife. I have some really bad news. Saying goodbye to my wife. Bum, 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 bum. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So this week I decided why not combine two of my deepest, deepest passions in life. Making fun of Onision and Chinese bootlegs. So here we are on uh, the channel of Hiding in My Room. AKA Daniel, I believe is his name. Yeah, if you haven't seen uh, Elvis the Aliens video, the Asian Onision, He's pretty similar in a lot of ways. He's equally, let's say, interesting. We're just gonna have a little bit of a, a browse through his, his channel here, and uh, you know, see what see what our boy uh, Daniel is up to. Uh, because with with thumbnails like this one, I I think we have an idea. Why don't we start with? Uh, <laughs> Why I'm a better person than you. Okay. I'm not a very good person, so it's not- that's not much of a brag. I'm not that impressed. Why I'm not a bad person. Here's a bunch of pictures of me. Nobody who's a bad person has ever taken a bunch of pictures of themselves. I get a lot of criticism from people on my YouTube channel in the com comment section. People always say things like, I'm a monster, I'm a horrible person, I'm a terrible person. No one really sticks up for me, no one ever defends me, so I guess I have to do it myself. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you some reasons why I'm not such a bad person, and actually, I'm a pretty good person, so, um... You know, I gotta say, flashing a sign that says you're better of a person than I am... <laughs> Starter to your argument. Let's get started. That is the look of a man who is getting ready to jerk off some dudes under the Brooklyn Bridge. Not that I, not that I've ever seen seen that kind of thing. Just you know. Okay, so number one, I don't drive, and a lot of people say things like, "Oh, what a loser! He doesn't know how to drive an automobile. Oh, he's 30 years old and he doesn't know how to drive a car." Yeah, well, we live in a world where climate change. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm! I'm just gonna stop you right there, my man. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm just gonna assume that's the whole argument. <laughs> climate change. That's the reason. I don't drive because climate change. Okay, I'm on board with that, my, my scroll. And you'd think that people like me, who voluntarily choose not to learn how to drive, and voluntarily choose to use public transport, you would think that people would, would um, you know, <laughs> thank us for not adding more to the pollution and not adding more to the traffic. Have you seen the traffic outside? It's, it's always jammed up. <laughs> this just reminded me of that time when on Red Letter Media. A video about manners needs to be 16 hours long. <laughs> Have you seen some of the people today? That's just such natural commentary, you know? It's It, it rivals that one video where Anisian was trying to be our friend. You know, just hanging with us like bros. <laughs> like, here's the thing. Uh, Onision's a, a serious fucked up guy. Uh, this guy I'm almost co half convinced is just joking. He's got a video called Why I'm a Better Person Than You. He starts the video by, like, sympathy baiting. And then he goes on to, oh, well, you know, you should really now thank us for now. not contributing to the climate change by driving. This fucking N-word right here, this, if this was a joke, this would be such fucking masterful satire. This would be so hilarious if this was a joke, but I, I just, oh, this is, this guy's like the ultimate fucking Poe's Law. This guy is the ultimate Poe. You really can't tell if he's fucking... For real. He's such a weirdo. We should be encouraging young people not to drive and to use public transport more. You know, you know, Daniel, the, the bus flasher population, I think they really approve of that. But no, you get people in the comment section, including my mum, saying that I'm not a real man because I don't know how to drive or... Oh my god. 
<laughs> He's got his mom trolling him in his comment section. Okay, I think I need to go retitle the uh, the first Onision video. I can't call him the most pathetic guy on YouTube anymore. This has to be a joke. Oh my god! Look, I don't drive. I'm 24. I don't drive. It's not like a big deal. I just I, I like walking. You know, I get to where I need to go easily enough. Yeah, if this is serious, like this is just really like hardcore fucking insecure. I'll probably be a, a terrible driver. Let's face it, and I might accidentally run someone over. I mean, I'm not gonna say an Asian stereotype, but, but, although I have to actually admit that that's actually another reason that I don't drive, I just feel like, you know, I'm an idiot, I can barely run my computer, I, I couldn't even manage to be born with two hands, you expect me to drive a car, motherfucker? And I don't want, I don't want that kind of power, I don't want to have the power Number two, I don't smoke, and I don't drink, and I'm pretty healthy, I have a healthy lifestyle. One of the most common diseases that people have currently in hospitals is heart disease, because they don't look after themselves, they don't eat their fruit and veg, they don't go out for exercise. Uh, hang on a minute, now I eat my vegetables, I just had pizza last night. So the other criticism I get is I live with my mum, or I used to live with my parents when I had two of them. Uh, a lot of people say that I'm a man-child, pathetic, because I live with my mom, and I don't really see why that's a problem. I mean, there's the small problem that she's trolling the fuck out of you on, on your comment section. I, I was worried that I might be bullying you a little bit, like, because you're, you know, a, a fragile boy, but man, if your mom is no dunking on you, dude, uh... uh fucking... I, all bets are off, man, I'm sorry. Okay, so, uh, yeah, my computer's resources are being taken up by, like, Firefox and a couple of notepad windows. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> Cut Discord. Bye-bye, Discord. See you furry fuckers in hell. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, anyways, that was why I'm a better person than you. We've learned, uh, that, that Daniel is a pretty fantastic human being. Uh, and he really wants us to know. Uh, let's see, how about, well, we, we, we looked at this one before, how about I'm looking for a girlfriend? Any ladies available? I'm also looking for a girlfriend. I'm just saying, if you're gonna pick one, I, I, I got the bear picture, I mean. Okay, I'll hand it to him. This is a, a, a charming little little vlog intro. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I don't hate it. Hey, so now I'm a single man. Well, technically I'm still married, but I consider myself to be a single man. I sexually identify as a single person. My wife understands this. She, she respects my gender. Now, some of you might be thinking, isn't this a twig? Yes. Some of you might be thinking, isn't this a twink, yes. Isn't it a bit too soon to start looking? I mean, you haven't even gotten divorced yet. And yeah, I guess it is It is still quite soon, but I don't see the point in waiting around. None of us are getting younger. Might as well start looking for the next relationship. I mean, none of us are getting younger, but you're apparently 30 and you look like I did when I was 12, so... I mean... <laughs> If anybody has a shot at it, it's probably you, my man. I just have to say, it's it's. I'm such an asshole that I could dunk on Onision for looking like an old motherfucker in the last two videos, and now I'm dunking on this guy for looking young and healthy. I'm sorry, I'm going to hell. But you know that we already have established that Daniel is a better person than I am. So <laughs> this is really this is really just you know me spiraling on the way down. So to make things simple, I am looking for a new relationship, an exclusive relationship, not looking for an open relationship. A lot of people think that I just want to sleep around and have lots of cereal. Yeah, dude, Captain Crunch, fucking Booberry. I'm all up in that Booberry, baby. I'm about to get some of that sweet, sweet Cheerios. Have you ever tried to fuck a Cheerio? Just saying, just, just a question. Leave it in the comments below if you have any experience with that. So the kind of person I'm looking for, for my next relationship, um, number one, language is, is very important. She has to be a native English speaker or she has to be able to speak English. The main mistake in my past relationships was that 
I had to speak a second language to be able to communicate with my girlfriend or my partner. And it was just a big headache. It's so, you don't know how stressful it is. Why would you marry, a, okay, so let me get this straight. So you don't want to just fuck someone, but you also married somebody who you literally can't talk to. Uh, what was the thought process there? Whoa, what's going on? How many coconuts were rattle, rattling around in that can there, my man? Okay, so when it comes down to skin color, this is a bit of a tricky thing to talk about because I don't want to sound racist. <laughs> That's a good way to start any any sentence that you're about to say. It's a bit of a tricky subject, but I don't want to sound racist, but... In the past, I have had a little bit of an obsession with Asian girls, Japanese girls to be specific. My man. And I want to I wanna get rid of that mentality and I'm open to any skin color. I don't care if you're black, if you're Asian, if you're white, if you're Hispanic. Uh, well, hang on. Why was he like, I don't want to sound racist, but now I'm open to any skin... I mean, I guess, yeah, somebody would probably... Ne never mind. <laughs> yeah, never, never mind. There's always going to be that one guy, <laughs> or, or probably blue-haired woman, more accurately, but anyways. And the next thing is, we have to have at least one thing in common. <laughs> we have to have at least one. I love this man's criteria. She has to be any color, she has to speak the same language, and we have to have at least one thing in common. Well, what are the other specifications? She needs to have a pulse. I, I, I expect there to be fingernails or toenails somewhere on her person. It doesn't really matter what it is. It could be something about our personalities. It could be food. It could be a video game. It could be... Now I just want to see a relationship between two people whose only thing they have in common is like... Is like Space Station Silicon Valley on the N64. That's the only thing they have in common, and they're just together because they both played that game. I'm so sick of being in relationships with girls that I have absolutely nothing in common with, and it's just really boring to talk to them, and we just don't have any shared interests. And that's just it's kind of depressing, being in a relationship with someone that you, you don't share anything with. Why would you be in a relationship with some... Like, how desperate are you to, like, look like you're cool or whatever? What are you- what are you attempting? You- you- you just date somebody who's got no- like, she doesn't speak your language, she has no interests that are the same as yours, like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck were you expecting? You got married to this person? What the fuck is wrong with you? Alright, so that was, uh, Daniel looking for a girlfriend. Again, anybody in the England area, uh, if you live anywhere south of the Shire, he's all yours, ladies. Or, or gentlemen. He, he probably won't be too picky. Why I hated my dad, the thumbnail, I was a terrible son. You know, I think you just answered your question. I think I have depression, I think my marriage is over, my new vlogging camera. Mm -hmm. My wife is so annoying. Okay, so if you're interested in dating D uh, Daniel here, uh, just be aware that he may make a video where he publicly calls you so annoying. Okay, so number one, washing the rice. When I have to make the rice for dinner, she always makes me wash the rice, and I think that's stupid. Always makes me wash the rice. Okay, I agree that that's weird, Daniel, but have you ever considered just not doing that and telling her that's stupid? You, you know you have choices, right? You know you have free will. You're not a sim, right, Daniel? And then she says, yeah, you have to wash your eyes because if you put water into it and you swish it around, the water goes cloudy. The cloudiness of the water doesn't mean that the rice is dirty. I have to admit, this does sound like a pretty dumb bitch, but <laughs> anyways. The only difference it makes when you wash the rice is it makes the rice less sticky and less starchy. And for me personally, I couldn't care less if the rice was starchy or sticky or not, it tastes the same. You're going to put it into your mouth anyway and chew it into a messy, gooey, 
lump of, of white mush anyway, so why does it matter if it's sticky or starchy or whatever? It doesn't matter if it has this texture or that texture. This is a man of real taste, you know? Really particular in his women and his rice. Yeah, just shove it in there, whatever. As long as it's it looks like rice. What is that, maggots? It's fine. It's just annoying having to wash the rice every time you cook rice. It only takes not even a minute, it takes maybe 30 or 40 seconds, but that's 30 or 40 seconds I would rather spend doing something else. This guy is such a fucking bitch. No, I, I, like, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be, like, super rude. I, I, I guess I do, but it's just, who the fuck whines like this about something so stupid? Like, first of all, just don't. Just don't do it. Tell her to do it herself. Whatever. But fucking, like, who whines this much about this kind of shit? And by the way, I'm just gonna say, the video's called My Wife is So Annoying. We're a minute and 37 seconds in with a man talking about fucking washing rice. I'm pretty sure that that could be considered a new metric by which to measure boring shit. Oh, she also says that you have to wash the rice because insects lay their eggs inside of the bag of rice, which is... <laughs> So stupid, I've never heard anyone say that before, ever. And even if there are insect eggs inside of the rice or within the rice grains, you're, you're boiling the rice, you're cooking the rice in water. You won't even notice any eggs inside of, inside of the cooked rice. It will just be disintegrated into the rice grains. Boy, that sounds appetizing. <laughs> you won't even notice the cyanide in your rice. It'll just be disintegrated into the rice grains. It'll be fine. You won't even notice it. Another thing that's irritating is when it comes to rubbish disposal, especially cardboard boxes. Right now we have a few boxes there and it's not really a problem. But when we first moved in, we had loads of cardboard. She made me flatten the whole lot and then tie it all together using string. She says, no, you have to tie it all up nice and neatly. And I said, who cares? They're going to pick it up anyway. And she said, they won't pick it up unless you tie it up nice and neatly, which is a load of rubbish. Yes, it is indeed a load of rubbish. Anyways, so, oh boy, four months ago, moving up in life, my huge $600 a month Japanese house. Two weeks ago, going to get my divorce papers. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a big collage of just memes on the screen right now. Just, just, just a reminder to throw that one in and post. I'm not a sociopath. Why I refuse to see a therapist. Okay. I'm not a sociopath. I find it difficult to care about other people. For some reason, a lot of people enjoy telling me that I need to go and see a therapist or I need to go and get therapy. And I want to make a quick video today to talk about why I don't want to see a therapist and why I, why I think seeing a therapist is kind of pointless. Now, first of all, I kind of take the phrase, you need to see a therapist as an insult because it... No shit, it's an insult. Uh, you know, first of all, I kind of take the phrase, go eat a thousand dicks, motherfucker, as a bit of an insult, you know? That just seems a little hostile, I don't know. Uh, you could have worded that a little more nicely. Maybe, uh, please go eat a thousand dicks. Are they telling me it because they're actually genuinely concerned about me and about my well-being and about my mental health? Or are they just saying it out of spite to make me feel bad? No, they're telling you that because England has enough weird young men shooting people. I haven't been to a dentist or a hair salon since I was about 15 or 16. I've been cutting my hair by myself for the past 12 or 13 years. I have gingivitis and bleeding gums because I don't want to see a dentist and my wife refuses to kiss me anymore. <laughs> Fucking records. We need to do a rewind on that one, folks. Ah, oh, that's hot. And my wife refuses to kiss me anymore. <laughs> it's even on the second time. It's so good. Oh boy. Okay. So, um, his mom is so annoying from a week ago. This is recent. This is after all of the drama. Let's let's find out how annoying his mom is. His poor mom who has to put up with his weirdo thirty-year-old ass. Hey, so this is gonna be a bit of a depressing video. Hey guys, my mom grounded me. I can't play Super Mario Galaxy anymore. It's kind of difficult making videos when you feel terrible. Motherfucker. <laughs> I've put out a few fair fucking videos in the last couple months and my life ain't getting any better. And that kind of sucks because when, when your job requires you to make videos, but you don't feel like making videos, well, it's not very good for your job, is it? I'm just finding it extremely stressful living with my mum recently. 
who keeps messaging me. She's just so unbelievably annoying. She keeps trolling me about how I'm not a man and... She keeps nagging me over the tiniest things. She'll just nag me f for ages over something very, very small. So in other words, complaining and being a bitch is, is inherent, is, it's genetic. You get that gene from your mother. I'm, I'm learning a lot of things today, okay. The other day she came into my room and she was in here for nearly an hour, just going on and on and on. And I was trying to masturbate and she wouldn't leave and I just had to go through with it anyways, man. I mean, what else could I do? For example, she keeps complaining about how, how my dad didn't really used to talk to her much. When it's pretty obvious why he didn't talk to her much. Number one, it's extremely difficult to talk to her because her hearing is not very good. So you need to be shouting all the time. So in other words, this woman is up is like upset that her husband who just died just died and this weird fucking dumbass this fucking kid is like oh she's just so annoying with this nonsense about how dad didn't talk to her it's like <sighs> you remember the you remember the people who told you to go see a therapist yeah you know you want to do that <laughs> My mum gets upset. Look at this poor little woman having to deal with this fucking weirdo. Look at this scowl of just disapproval. Like, this is the look that you get when you're like, I am so done with this shit. I don't want to have to put up with your ass anymore. I don't want to have to deal with your fucking stupid vlogs about your pathetic life. I just don't want to deal with this shit anymore. So, that was Hiding in My Room, a uh, channel by our friend Daniel. Uh, again, not the worst person in the world, but he's a bit weird. And he needs to stop doing this shit and just, like, completely ruining his life. So, is Daniel worse than Onision? Um, no, he's not worse. Onision, I think, is like a genuinely malicious, like, dipshit. He's a- he's an- he's an active bad guy. The- Daniel, I think, is just a dumb person. I think he, Daniel's just an idiot. He has no concept of what, like, not to say. And, I mean, if he wants to work, ruin his life with his burglary, you know, that's his prerogative, I guess. But I'm sure his wife is really appreciating all the black dick she's getting now. Anyways, if you enjoy this this video, please be sure to uh, drop me a like and a comment and all that sort of uh, fun stuff. Thank you again for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, please take care. And um, don't overshare your life on YouTube. N nobody wants that.